The Manila Times Lights, Camera, Boto The Chat Show Edition Rising Shy Maka voters, it's a beautiful morning full of hope for the future. Ito po si Tessa Mauricio Ariola, welcoming you to the Manila Times Lights, Camera, Boto The Chat Show Edition. By tomorrow, sampung araw na lang po ang natitira sa kampanya ng ating mga kandidato mula sa pagka-presidente hanggang sa pagka-konsehal. At dito po sa LCB, we continue to make the most of the time we have left to help one another make the right choices come the very important day and date of Monday, May 9, 2022. So we forge ahead with that fun and upbeat vibe in spotlighting not only the personalities but the platforms of Halalan 2022's candidates. Because this is where entertainment leads to empowerment. Ready na ba kayo mga ka voters? Let's get started right now! The Manila Times Lights Camera Boto The Chat Show Edition Lights, camera, boto, a little bit different today, mga ka-voters. With the elections just days away, it's been quite a challenge to get our candidates to sit down on an original schedules, more so together with their showbiz supporters. Which is why we jumped at the chance to sit down with one of Philippine showbiz's most credible A-listers to find out why he's done a full 180 in making his politics public. Even without his chosen candidate beside him today, his is a story that will definitely stand on its own and one that has certainly intrigued the best of us. And it also helped to watch and listen to a man who's been crushing ang bayan 25 years and counting. Mga ka-voters, kilalanin at kilatisin natin sa iba namang paraan ang isa sa pinaka-prominenting volunteers of a humble yet winning party list called Number 50, ang Provinciano. Please welcome the respected and raved over multi-awarded actor and quiet but constant philanthropist, Piolo Pascual. Lights, camera, boto. Welcome to the show, Mr. Piolo Pascual. You're on the Manila Times, lights, camera, boto. And I can't believe that uh, you are here in a slightly political show, pero entertainment pa rin. Hi, Tessa. It's nice to see you. Pick for your biopic. A little icebreaker, you know, like I said, um, it's not very usual for a newspaper's showbiz desk to be doing the political program, no? Naga icebreaker kasi kami when we talk to politicians who have guested here on the show, uh, and we ask them, you know, the usual question, the usual icebreaker is, kung kayo ay uh, isa sa pelikula ang buhay niyo, sinong artista ang gusto niyong gumanap sa inyo? Of course, your name has come up several times. But, of course, iba naman ang tanong ko sa'yo, di ba? Ang icebreaker natin, do you think you'd ever want to have your life turned into a movie? Oh, no. Um, if it was to be made uh, into a movie, I wouldn't want to be around by then anymore. You know, it's too narcissistic to begin with. I mean, not personally, I wouldn't want to watch myself or a depiction of myself. Yet, I'm still around, you know, still trying to uh, write my legacy. So... I think it's kind of premature, you know, so I would never, you know, delve into something, uh, you know, oh, I still good, have, yeah. Good answer. Very good answer. Thank you. Anyway, um, sabi nga namin ni Piolo, it's a little strange because parang medyo seryoso yung usapan namin, but I, we promise. Tessa. That, yes? Tessa, I'm, I'm going to give you a nice breaker. Okay. So what was your question uh, to most politicians? Like who? who they would want to portray them in a movie. You want to tweak your question towards me? Oh, if, if what? If, if you want to portray a politician. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's a good yeah. one. If you would like yeah. to portray um, a statesman. Lagay na lang natin ganon. Minsan mm-hmm. yung politician may ibang meaning. A statesman um, and turn his life into a movie. Who would it be? Okay, I'll... I'll, I'll be more specific. If there's one prominent person in the Philippines I'd want to portray or do a biopic on, um, I grew up, well, you know what I'm saying. We grew up in the 80s and uh, we were like after martial law. So we were kids when everything happened. So if there's one person that I've, that has always picked my interest, it's always been Ferdinand Marcus. Wow. 
Yeah. Wow, that is that's a big surprise that you you say that. That yeah. I mean, what are your reasons for doing that? What are well, your first I did I did Ninoy for MMK for a special mm-hmm. with Bea. We played uh, Ninoy and Corey. And then um, personally, I find him to be an interesting figure. So I want to know more about him. I did some stuff, you know, with uh, relation to uh, the martial law, such as the Gata Setenta, and some history when it did starting over again. And of course, in school, Deva, we were so uh, embedded uh, into that time we're in, it was just crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's why, you know, I was saying uh, it would be really be interesting to talk to a non-politician personality because knowing you, your age, you've seen that half. Diba yung half na yun na yep. natin, Piolo, eh. Tapos we, had, we, we had the whole time in the world back then. Exactly, and then we're seeing this half and right. a part of us can't believe what's going on in this half. I won't delve into that any deeper, but I think you know what I mean. It's such a strange time. I think a mm-hmm. curious time to live in, and um, mm-hmm. you know I think that it's the best time really for um, people yeah. who are regarded by the public as somebody you know credible, somebody they listen to, mm-hmm. somebody right. with dignity to really come out and say what they okay. feel about the country. Because mm-hmm. now is the time. I think really, right. really now is the time, and okay. we applaud you, Piolo, for doing that now. Thanks. Kilalanin. Easy questions muna tayo. Wala namang hard dito eh. Walang math. Don't worry. I'm also very bad at numbers. But over the pandemic, you know, we heard you actually embrace provincial living. So, uh, can mm-hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Um, even with work, um, when I'm not uh, in the city or if I'm not on the set, I would always go to different places to reset, to, to vacation. You know, to have some time off, and I built the property in Batangas more than 10 years ago. So my family and I would go once in a while when we would have time. But uh, all those years, I was married to my work, obviously, so I never had a chance to really spend time there. But before the pandemic hit, and my mom, my sister, and I uh, were trying to uh, renovate the house and at the same time build something there because we have some businesses there as well and so we decided you know it's nice to actually live here I and mean, you know it's fresh air everything in manila is boxed up everything here is compartmentalized so parang when i started living there and you see the horizon 24 7 you don't have to turn on an acu help the environment, hindi mo kailangan ng uh, ilaw, you know, half the time. So, parang sabi ko, it makes you more basic. And it kind of, and then the pandemic hit. And that's when my life slowed down. And that's when I learned to appreciate the value of just slowing down, quieting down, and just, you know, not being ahead of yourself. And that's when I started appreciating that kind of life. Oh, di ba? Not having yeah. to keep up with any keep up yeah yeah exactly because or... that's what we were taught in in in, in the city mm-hmm. you know you know cutthroat so always always jump at something and an opportunity but then we were forced to just take a back seat and take a long okay listen yeah, yeah. Well, apart from the fact that um of course one of your favorite actresses i'm sure uh vilma santos lives in mm-hmm. batangas what were yeah. the i uh, know what were the attractions of batangas to you how did you fall in love with Batangas? Well, aside from my mom being there, Mommy B, uh, who is a very, very big influence in my life, professionally and personally. Um, I've, I, I'm a diver. Uh, uh, I've, whenever, when I did the show for ABS once upon a time and I played a merman, this was, I think, 1999, I had to be certified. And that's when I started going to Anilao, Mabini, uh, to dive. And ever since then, I've just been diving. Now I'm an advanced diver. And there's this place that I've always liked to own. So I asked the owners if there would be a chance to, you know, uh, uh, flip the property, you know, to, uh, you know, just uh, think of me. And then just one thing led to another. And then I just started living there. Well, what made you fall in love with it? It's Balayan Bay. And it's so quiet. You know, I would go there. Uh, Tessa, I would go there before just by myself. I would drive from work, uh, 2 a.m. I would I would stay up 
and I would record the sound of the waves and it would cal calm me down, you know, when you're trying to quiet down. So I found it there. I found some solace. I found some, you know, something that would make me uh, slow down. But you know, Piolo being Piolo, uh, Piolo po talaga isa sa pinaka hindi selfish na celebrity po natin uh, dito sa Pilipinas. And wherever he goes, he'll always find some way na gawing meaningful yun mang paghanap niya ng solace, pag-relax niya. And as you said, you actually started businesses there. And you know, mm -hmm. doing that kasi obviously, you know, helps create jobs, helps better the mm -hmm. place and all that. You must have seen also some problems siguro na nangyayari din in that community that you've chosen to uh, be in. What were they? And um, you know, parang, parang what made you decide na I'll take it a step further. And yun nga, magnegosyo din ako para makatulong din naman, maka-invest din ako sa mga tao dito sa Batangas. Well, of course, primarily, you find uh, work for uh, the locals because basically when the pandemic hit, everyone had to stop working. We were all stuck at home. So at that time, even labor was cut, uh, no uh, air, land, water activity. So we had, to have, we had to fend for ourselves. So that's when we started doing, you know, our small businesses here and there and just bartering. But the main... Uh, component actually for me that's why I started doing businesses not just there but you know in some other places was there are some there are still some indigenous barangays there are still some people who are actually in the rural areas that don't get the right education so for them to have a better life you want to give them that chance that choice to be educated so that's why when I put up my foundation and I decided, you know, I'm going to help these kids have a better life by having something in their head so that, that, when, that when they grow up, you know, they'll be better, they'll be, they'll have a better future. So I support a couple of uh, indigenous places in Barangay and some other parts. For the past so many years, uh, usually po, na-invita po kami ni Piolo pag may graduate na scholar po ang foundation niya, no? Marami po siyang napagpaaral um, from grade school, high school, college, and you know, the difference... Pero Tessa, I don't mean to brag, you know, I just had to say that, I I'm know. sorry. You, mean, you don't mean to brag, and you really keep it low-key. Kami lang naman yung matindal in the press, and we can't help but talk about it, because, you know, um, being who you are, you know, it inspires others to do the same. So, two sides yan eh, ba? Parang, damned if you do, damned if you don't, pagsasabi nila, why do you do charity work and then publicize it? Bakit mo gagawin pa yon when you can do it quietly? But you know, if everybody does it quietly, nobody will, you know, realize that, hey, I can do something. Artista ako, but yeah. I can do something. Or doctor ako, or engineer ako, I can do something. But with Piolo po, actually, he's been very quiet about it. Because nga, ganyan ka, no? you're one celebrity who when he talks, everybody listens. Ito naman yun, Piolo. I'm not just, um, you know, just because you're here in front of me saying that to you. And you know, a while back, you said you'd rather keep your politics to yourself. Uh, we were all surprised when you volunteered for number 50, Ang Provinciano. Uh, kasi nga, sinabi mo yun, and kami alam namin pag sinabi ni Piolo, that's it. And when we heard about it, sabi namin, hindi siguro totoo yan, no? But what made you change your mind to publicly express support for number 50 ang Provinciano party list? I guess you reach a point in your life when you just have to make a stand. I mean, you don't have to wait anymore. You shouldn't wait anymore at all, especially when everything around you is chaotic. Mm -hmm. So what led me to uh, speak? What led me to come out and voice out my support? is because you know through the years i guess i've learned to appreciate my culture i've learned to appreciate my audience and i know just like what you say you know people listen i don't do it just because i know people are listening so i still want to be spontaneous i still want to be sincere and candid and natural so when i do something i want it out of the compulsion of my heart not because i have to do it so with Provinciano, for the record, it's the first time I'm actually endorsing a party list. So it was a big step for me. But um, advocating their um, programs, I saw similarities. I saw how in three years time, when, it, when we went to Zamboanga last week, and I was trying, I was asking see Edward, 
I said, what have you, how long have you guys been in office? He goes, three years. I was like, in my head, it's been six years because when I saw all their programs, I saw all the infrastructure, all the livelihood, all the charitable stuff that they did in the last three years. I go, they delivered. They walk they, and they, they walk the talk. Diba, Piola? Yeah. It's not just for I, a party list. They really walk the talk. I was told off by, you know, uh, my close relative to not endorse because of, you know, I'm going to be really candid here. But I asked Congressman uh, Alfred about the incident on YouTube when, you know, there was an altercation between him and waiter and I had to address that. But I guess I saw some similarity as well with me because, you know, I, I was judged many times, but I took that in stride and, you know, started making better moves, being a better person. And with Apid, when what he said was that was a learning curve for him. Yeah. So from there on, that became his motivation to be a better person to make it better and you know i'm if i have to advertise him you know he's just one of the congressmen that really attended all the sessions and i don't know if he was absent at all in any any of the sessions so he really did his work that was a humbling experience for him but for people to judge him just because of one incident that's unfair because we get judged every day so anyways going back to their programs i saw all the things that i have in my heart that i want to do but they do it in a political way. So I saw uh, the parallelism. That's why I said, let's let's work on this together. Maybe you can help me with my other programs, with my, uh, my other students, my scholars, and if there's a need for uh, some uh, uh, infrastructure in this area, or there's a relief uh, uh, opportunity here, I can, I can go to you guys. I mean, I, I, at least at this point, I don't have to single-handedly uh, be uh, the person that gives all the help. I mean, you know, I have them. So yeah, that's why for me it was, it was not hard. But I guess I decided to uh, step up to the plate because you know I don't want to get old regretting that I didn't support who I wanted to support and speak up what I wanted to say just because I was I was tired and I was neutral. See, Kong Apid actually, uh, it was on this show with the Manila Times also that he first really addressed that. Um, and we also mm-hmm. have, of course, your um, a fellow volunteer, uh, Kuya Boy Abunda, right beside him, saying the same thing. That mm-hmm. um, if you judge a person for one thing, one parang siguro ano lang yun eh, one off na nangyari sa buhay niya, and you judge him for that, whereas he has potential to do much good, sayang naman. Sayang naman, mm-hmm. diba? And, um, and, you know, the work of Ang Provinciano says it all, uh, which is what Piolo saw. And, um, you know, minsan kasi, diba, Piolo, we can only do so much as private citizens. Diba? Yeah. Parang we can mm-hmm. just um, have our charities. Ang nangyari tuloy, puro dole out, dole out, dole out na lang, diba? Um, pero syempre, education is a huge thing uh, that you're doing. Pero hindi naman pwedeng hanggang doon lang. Meron talagang mm-hmm. mga bagay that government needs to address also that we need to partner with government para yung ultimate goal natin na mapagandang mga buhay ng mga tao ay uh, ma-achieve. Nakakapanibago man po, pero I'm sure you're still enjoying this serious and very revealing interview with Piolo Pascual. We'll be right back for more on Lights, Camera, Boto. Maraming pagkain sa mesa. Trabaho para sa lahat. Libreng pagpapagamot. Edukasyon para sa lahat. Mga proyektong matagal nang naumpisahan ng ang probinsyano at sinisigurong ipagpapatuloy. Ako po si Piola Pascual, ang probinsyano ng Batangas. Donna din po, ang probinsyano ng Pampanga. Ako po si JM De Guzman, ang probinsyano ng Bulacan. Ako naman po si Boy Abunda, ang probinsyano ng Eastern Sama. Ang probinsyano party list. The Manila Times Lights, Camera, Boto, The Chat Show Edition During this whole uh, season of um, Lights, Camera, Boto, Piolo, we've been really trying um, to do our little bit, no, our share to sort of empower uh, voters kung sino nga ang dapat nilang piliin. May time dito that we discussed really what party lists are. And uh, we really told our viewers na ang party list talaga has to be advocating something very specific. ba? Ang dami-dami ngayong party lists kasi na hindi natin maintindihan. Parang 
pwede namang tumakbo na lang for their district siguro because it's really just the work of a, a congressman no but this one is really really focused ang ang probinsyano is really really focused in your um you know like putting it together with your foundation since you've already mm-hmm. mentioned it um saan mo sa tingin pwedeng makapag-partner ang probinsyano at ang iyong foundation in terms of the things the limitations ng foundation ng isang private citizen well my foundation is just one partnership with them um, we attracted uh, each other because of our love for uh, education uh, because we want to advocate education so that uh, the students can have better future but aside from that is rural development yeah. to be able to provide jobs for people in the remote areas because they don't have the access so you want to give them that by providing infrastructure by um, connecting them to people that can actually give them uh, better access to better roads better education and just providing uh, the access for for people to connect and become modernized i mean you know um, we don't want to take them away from their areas but we want to have them we want to give them better choices Yeah. So we start with education and we start with, you know, with relief and just, you know, providing them jobs, you know, however yeah. way we can. Yeah, that's very important, di ba? Parang dapat maging self-sufficient din sila. Pagkatapos mong tulungan, hindi naman pwedeng forever na lang, di ba? And that's not going to make us the country that we want yeah. to be. So I, I understand that yung process na yon and, you know, however, probably... It's difficult to to pursue, pero how sim- however simple it sounds, that's really how to build a community, de ba? How to yep. better a country, and um, mm-hmm. you know that's that's uh, one of the things that we know you've always really had in 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 heart, no? Sa Hollywood po pag ang artista ang nag-endorse ng politician, talagang it's a major deal. Dito sa Pilipinas kasi they think ah no, they was just paid for it, kabinayaran lang yan, uh, may ganito yan ganon. But listening to you now, Piolo, and seeing really how your advocacies and the advocacies of the party list that you chose to endorse are really parallel. Talagang halos magkaisa. Um, mm-hmm. Shows that hindi po ito trabaho. No, Piolo, it's not trabaho. Yeah, otherwise, if, if it's work, then I, I guess I won't be as excited. I won't be as risky. Mm-hmm. Because I'm losing something here. I mean, you know, people are gonna hate, people are gonna bash, and people are gonna judge. But if I don't do it, I mean, somebody else will do it. And if I want to do it, why not do it if I can do it? Yeah. You know, I want to stand up for something that I believe in, and I want to do it now. <laughs> and we admire you for that because, yun nga, merong iba iba ang kung may controversies in showbiz, mas maraming controversies ang politics at mas tao nga nila, mas masalimuot. O, yan. Nag, mas madumi. <laughs> nag-up yan. Mas madumi, di ba? And I think um, another thing that that uh, this party list has going, Piolo, they are young. Di ba? Yes. As they are our younger than us. Younger than us. <laughs> Minsan nga, nakaka-guilty. Ang dami na nilang nagawa. Pinupungan nila ako eh. Oo, di ba? Ate nga, tawag nila sa akin. Eh. Medyo parang napapaano ako, di ba? Parang... <laughs> Anyway, pero, di ba, parang, I really think it's the time for the young, mm-hmm. the young people mm-hmm. to, to be there and to get in the middle of everything. And Piolo, yeah. no matter, we keep on joking about our age, but you're always one person in this country that will always have the youth naman listening to you. And, you know, I guess, tama talaga yung time. This is the time. And uh, no matter what risks you've taken, you know, I think, um, malaman na lang natin, makikita natin kung anong mangyayari dyan. Uh, in the future because ayaw mong magsisi. Diba? Yun yun mm-hmm. eh. Ayaw mong pagsisi. Yes. You are known to keep to yourself whether um, the controversy is about yourself or others. Talaga pong ganyan si Piolo uh, out of respect for other people. Ayaw niyang makagulo pa o makasakit or anything. So he's very private about things. Surprisingly again, you declared who you're supporting for president, which is indeed a major deal. There must have been something that hit you these last three to six years that forced you to be outspoken about the leaders and choices we should make as a country. What has troubled you? Let's set aside the pandemic. Everybody's been affected in the whole wild world. Pero personally, something must have hit you, Piolo. Kasi hanggang, you know, yung una nga yung party list, kinagulat na namin eh. Pero yung pagdeklara mo pa rin kung sinong pinuno ng bansa ang gusto mo. Wow! Ginawa ni Piolo yon. Bakit? I guess, for now that I, I have a chance to 
go for somebody that I would think uh, at least I know give us something uh, you know for the future actually hindi na future yeah. yung now with Angelica's video that came out on YouTube and it uh, made so much impact in me I was like grabe yung influence man grabe yung mag- maglabas ka lang ng YouTube and it's very you know plain and simple it's nonchalant But uh, it made so much impact. So I, I, you know, I was toying, you know, in my head that idea of how to, you know, kind of endorse, you know, and say something about uh, who you wanna vote for. Okay, long uh, after a while, I when I when I when when I saw that, that's when I, I guess I don't know who I talked with. Probably Joyce Bernal, mm-hmm. or somebody. I said I want to do something like that. I want to do a video wherein I would speak positivity i would speak something uh that would uh inspire that would make people think and look at life in a good light so we we worked on that uh i spoke with agot i spoke with pepe uh, i spoke with direct irene direct net so all these volunteers came together and so uh I, I told them about the script I wanted, and then when they sent it, uh, the, the, the day I arrived, the day I arrived from the States after that, I, I did the video. And it was a relief for me because I felt I did something for the country and I didn't think of myself. Okay. It was an unselfish thing to do, but I had to do it because now is the time to do it. <laughs> I understand, and I think really people from this generation really understand what you say because now or never now or never it's now or never yes, we're so we're we're you know, we're in our midlife natin. Yeah, so we have to make yeah. a stand otherwise oh, we'll, we'll miss out we'll miss out you know, naman. it's true i mean it's always been prime time yung life for you piolo always prime time on television and showbiz but in real life prime time po yung generation natin kaya um i think we're the ones who be able to you know speak to the youth you know tell the younger ones what we know maybe hindi nila alam um and hopefully ma empower nga sila to make the right choices um you know come election day piolo we've been saying ang seryoso nito ng interview natin ang seryoso natin seryoso ka ba talaga ganyan ka ka deep mag-isip all the time or is it just because nga of all this chaos what don't we know about you piolo and your personality i want the youth to better understand their choices in life I mean, people are so dismissive nowadays, and they don't appreciate interaction anymore. So there is so much hostility in the, in the world around us. You want to bring back uh, hospitality. You want to bring back, you know, uh, positive vibes. So I guess Values. I'm a yeah. You 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 want to let loose. You want to be happy. You want to appreciate life. And I kind of go. I want I want to I want to counter. You know the chaos that's happening all around us, and just you know, emanate goodness. So I'm I'm not a very deep person. Na yung pinakain ko na tao. That's why, you know, I I keep to myself. You know that I if I don't have to speak because I get into trouble whenever I open my mouth. But I guess it is what it is. You know, at this point in our lives, we believe in something, we stand for something, and then you've got to speak up and not think about you know the damage. But at least you know you stood up for something, and you know. It feels good. Piolo, thank you for opening up to us. I know that you know you you really are not very comfortable discussing all these things, political things, mga uh, ibat ibang bagay. But uh, we appreciate you coming here today, and the floor is yours. Our demographic, ang nanonood po ng lights camera bato here on the Manila Times, are the young ones, the ones who are always on YouTube, the ones who are mm-hmm. maybe easily swayed by what they see. But the floor mm-hmm. is yours now to speak to them. Um, days before election day, what would you like to tell them? First and foremost, uh, I was never in any rally that would associate me to okay. other parties. I went to Zamboanga to uh, attend a proclamation rally of Ang Provinciano Party List. And we went to three towns and that was all I did. So I just wanted that, you know, out the window and clear it up. And with my stand for Lenny, I just feel that with her, 
there is more chance for fairness, equality, and unity. Because we need peace. If you're just gonna bicker around and fight with every opposition and you don't give a future to your nation, then we'll all just be conflicted. Because as it is, uh, it's a very hostile world that we live in. So this is the time for us to, you know, think, think really hard because this is six years and we don't just need an iron fist. We, we need a compassionate leader. We need somebody that would embrace our needs and do something about it that would help us or listen to us, you know, when we have something that we want to address and work on that together. I guess at this point, it the young chance not then to speak up, you know, as citizens of the of our country. Let's use that voice so that whatever happens in the election, we know that we made the right choice and that we followed our conscience. I just want us to just really know what is good and to always pray for that. In love. Uh, I don't think we've ever spoken like this before, but Tal, you're right. This is the time to do so, and we are uh, very, very tayo sa mga sa show business. Very, very proud mm -hmm. of you for doing so, and we thank you for that. And we thank you for always being positive at hopeful. Kasi yan ang kulang sa atin ngayon, eh, di ba? Hope yep. and unity. We really, really, really appreciate the time that you've spent with us today to talk about number fifty, ang provinciano, and of course, these revelations that you've making, you've been making in the past few weeks. We always, always wish you the best, and uh, we hope um, after elections we'll see each other again. Um, show us on pag-usapan natin noon. No, para light. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Tessa. I really enjoyed so much. And uh, no. thank you. thanks for making me feel comfortable, you know. Thank I hope to see you, you in so person much. sometime soon. Yes, it's been a while. So uh, there you have Mr. Piola Pascual. He is uh, supporting number 50, Ang Provinciano. Uh, it, it po ang lights, camera, bottle. We'll be back right after the break. The Manila Times. Lights. Camera. Boto. The Chat Show Edition. Nakilala at nakilatis na natin si Piolo Pascual, who is all out sa kanyang support for number 50, ang Provinciano Party List. Empowered by this episode of Lights, Camera, Boto, the choice is yours to make mga ka-voters. In the meantime, please make sure to get a copy of the Sunday Times Magazine today to find out more about Piola's reasons for being vocal about his choices of leaders for the country at this point in his celebrated career. Allow me to thank my Lights Camera Boto team, led by our director and video editor Neil Reyes, my girls Christina and Isa, and LCB project manager Shirley Pizarro for their continued hard work. All that we do is for you, mga ka-voters. Next week naman po, do catch the second and final part of the season finale special and meet the man whose work in Congress for rural development has truly inspired Pearl Pascual to do more for our community and country. This is Tessa Mauricio Ariola, and see you next Sunday for the Manila Times Lights, Camera, Boto, the chat show edition, where entertainment leads to empowerment. Hi Maka voters, if you haven't yet, do subscribe to the Manila Times YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Manila Times and at TMT CSI. You may also log on to www.manilatimes.net to watch Lights, Camera, Boto.